All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 30 minus one. So to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the power of 15 times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 15 times two is the same thing as two to the power of 15 to the power of two. And negative one is the same thing as negative one squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 15 and b is one. So now I have two to the power of 15 plus one times two to the power of 15 minus one. Now, two to the power of 15, well, what's the value of that? Well, two to the power of 10, this is 1,024. So two to the power of 11 is double of two to the power of 10, which is double of 1,024, which is 2,048. So now two to the power of 12 is double of 2,048, which is 4,096. Two to the power of 13 is double of 4,096, which is 8,192. Two to the power of 14 is double of that, which is 16,384. And finally, two to the power of 15, this is double of this, which is 32,768. So I have 32,768 plus one times 32,768 minus one. And now this is equal to 32,769 times 32,767. Now, a simple way to solve this, instead of having to actually multiply them the regular way, is to rewrite this as 32,000 plus 769 times 32,000 plus 767. Now I'm gonna distribute. So, I get 32,000 times 32,000, which is equal to 1024000000. This is 1 billion 24 million. And now I have this plus 32,000 times 767. plus 769 and finally I have at the end 767 times 769 which is equal to 589,823 so let me add all of this up You can, you can actually do this on paper if you want, but just to make this easier, I'm gonna use a calculator to add all this up. So if I add all of this up, I get 1,073,741,000 823. So this is my solution.